Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we need to start from the beginning here. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Ali, and I am a crafter, YouTuber, and small business owner. In case you haven't guessed by the title, this is my studio tour for 2020. This room is a craft room, it's an art studio, and it's also my home office where I run my business. Everything in this room was DIY'd by me and my partner. I planned out the design and what I wanted where, and he did all of the building, which is amazing. I wanted to show you what the room looked like before we started. This actually took us the best part of a year to do. When we moved into this house two years ago, this room used to be a craft room for the previous owner. But as you can see from the photos, the room was really tired. It needed updating, it needed a new floor. This is the first time I actually had a standalone craft studio. So before this, all of my craft supplies were in our little conservatory, which was really nice in the summer because it's really bright and sunny in there but it gets quite damp and cold in the winter so it's not really suitable either for storage or for actually using the room. So we really wanted to turn this second bedroom into my home office studio where I can have everything for my business all in one place and also have a nice creative space to work in. My partner repainted, he put down a new engineered wood floor, he also replaced the skirting boards, he put up a new curtain pole and new curtains, he put new lights in, he basically completely transformed the room. Just a little disclaimer before we get into it, I have got a lot of craft supplies, I have spent a lot of money on these craft supplies, I'm not going to lie. I also I used to work for a paper craft company. A lot of the supplies I did get from work and I'm very aware that nobody in the world needs as many craft supplies but this is my hobby. That's why I have so many. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the video and see my craft room. Welcome to the voiceover portion of this video. This is my computer desk. I also have my planner on the desk always. There's my laser printer that I use for my business. And then I have this little drawer unit which has lots of random businessy stuff in it. My chair I got off Amazon. I'll link it in the description box. It's really, really comfortable and it was a really good investment for this room. And then under the desk I've got my shredder, I've got some packaging and I've got my desktop computer and my headphones. And then I also have this bucket full of vinyl, which is what I use for my business, Watch Perfect. It's a bit low there, we've actually stocked up since I filmed this video. And then there's another drawer unit, both of those are from Ikea. The desk itself we actually built from some worktop, so it's, you know, it's a really nice big desk. This is my packing station, so above this I've got some reclaimed scaffold board shelves on the wall. And I have all of my Swatch Perfect stock above and all the things I need to pack my orders. So I've got customs labels, business cards and all of my envelopes that I use to ship all of my orders there. On the shelf above, I have got some shipping packaging because I like to reuse it and also lots more envelopes. And then when I want to pack orders, I like to keep this desk nice and clear so I can grab all of the stuff and pop it down on the desk when I'm ready. In the next corner of the room, I have this armchair. I really wanted a nice chair for this room and I found this one online. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I also have a lamp in this corner and this basket is where I put all of my small Aliexpress packages when they come in to build up for a haul. And then I have a couple of pieces of art on the wall up here. This is by my friend Kat and this is by an artist. I'll link them both in the description box. Here is the windowsill. I've got a few books. I've got my Nintendo Switch and I've got a plant, a few extra prints on the other side. And this is one of my favourite things about this room is the view. There's always stuff to look at outside. There's birds, there's lots of trees you wouldn't guess i live in the middle of a city it's fantastic this is the main desk in the craft room which we actually built out of another piece of worktop and a bunch of ikea crates i designed this myself and i'm so so pleased with it it was really cheap to put together i've got a set of softbox lights that i use in this room to film and i also have my overhead camera rig that i just leave set up on the desk on the desktop here i have my cup of tea i have an extension lead and then i have this box with all my most used supplies so i've got my scissors pens tape all that kind of stuff just handy on the desk and then I've also got my sketchbook and a notebook 
Uh, I've got a few shelves on the wall here. This is where I keep most of my inks, so all my smaller inks. It's really nice to have them on the wall and just easy to grab and I'll be able to find exactly what I need every time. And then there's a couple more shelves with some other supplies here. The desk is actually standing height, but sometimes I like to sit down, so it's nice to have a stool that can just slide away under the desk when I'm not using it. And then on the left hand side is where I keep all of my stamps, so they're all organised by category in all these baskets. It looks messy, but I know where stuff is. The top shelf has all my new stamps that I haven't put away yet. It has a stamp cleaner sponge and also my stamp positioning tool, which is the Tim Holtz one. And then I have my most used stamps at the top, maybe less used stamps below, and then the bottom one, I have my box of Christmas and then that one there, so lots of stamps. On the right hand side, I've got all my Distress Oxides in this tin. I've got all my little Distress inks in these. At the back are all my blending tools. And then I also have my favorite trimmer, which is the mini Tim Holtz one that I use all the time. Next shelf down, I have all my stencils in this box here. And then I have some hot tools, so I have a glue gun, I have some heat mats, and I also have a We Are Memory Keepers Fuse tool at the bottom there, which I haven't actually used. And then the bottom shelf is like tons of embellishments. So I've got this basket here full of ephemera and bits and bobs like that. I've got a ton of ephemera and it's all like in this original packaging. So um, don't judge me, please. <laughs> tons of stickers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's that. And then I've also got a box full of pieces of like wooden pieces and then there's one with miscellaneous embellishments so like bows pom-poms stuff like that there's this one with loads of gems in which is really really pretty and this one that has charms in and then i've got one more that has more sequin mixes in which i'm terrified of dropping on the floor and this last box at the bottom has all of my tag blanks so you know different types of tags in there I of course have my bin down there and then I have this cart which is from Ikea. You've probably seen these a million times before. This is all of my mediums. I'm actually going to do a separate video on this because there's so much on this cart I can't fit it all in this video so make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. Next to that I've got my chest of drawers which has got tons of little drawers. I'll put a link to this one if I can find it. Um, lots of people have complimented me on this drawer unit before. It's great for storing lots of little things so I have, a, have my embossing supplies in here. I've got sequins, beads toppers, ribbon and I've got a couple of drawers of extra rolls of tape as well because you can never have too much tape and glue. On top of that I've got some more embellishments. This box is all pieces of vellum that you might have seen in my AliExpress hauls and also a few more um, journaling pieces. I've got lots of stickers in these drawers so sticker flakes in that first one, enamel dots in this one. This is all clear and white pearls and gems in this drawer and then the bottom one is all of my coloured gems um, which I need to take out of the packaging because clearly it's too full. Behind that I have all of my liquid enamels I guess you'd call them so I have a ton from Dovecraft and a few from Nuvo as well. Then this is like the main storage area in my craft room it's great. This is one of the cheapest solid wood units they do at Ikea and I just stained it a dark colour it's fantastic. On the top I have all of my Christmas paper there's a ton of it up there and on the other side I have all of my made cards. The next shelf, there's a mishmash of things on here. There's foil, foam, and then on the other side, I have all of my card blanks. So this box is all six by six card blanks in tons of different colors, mostly from Dove Craft. And the other box has different sizes. So there's some smaller ones. There's some like funny shaped envelopes. There are different colored cards in this one. Tons of different ones in here. I guess maybe A2 size. And then at the back I have my five by seven cards in white and craft, which I've pre-folded and they're they're ready to ready to create on. On the next shelf I have all my dies. So my die cutting machine lives there. I take it off and put it on the desk when I need it. Um, and then these drawers are great to keep all my dies out, although they are a bit of a mess, so I do need to tidy them up. And then I have this other basket, which has all of my nesting dies and bigger sets, so I can keep them all together in these little pockets. This clearly also needs to sort out because you can't see what's in it, but I use the same storage system I do for my stamps, and I just have the little dividers in between. And then right at the back of this basket, there are also embossing folders, so I have quite a few embossing folders in there as well. 
Then the only other things on this shelf are some extra cutting mats and a blending mat. Next shelf down is all my cardstock, which I keep in rainbow order. It might not look like that, but it is actually quite neat. I have some watercolor paper on this shelf. And then I also have all my eight by eight pads here on the right. So I think these are pretty much all from first edition and um, that I've collected over my employment with them. Um, and they just fit quite nicely there. So it's easy to flick through them. Um, I also on this side I keep some packs of adhesive glitter card which is from Dovecraft and then there's a lollipop box club box there as well. The bottom shelf I have some albums on the right hand side and then I have plain 12 by 12 coloured paper and cardstock all on this side. And I also have this which has got all of my loose 12 by 12 scrapbooking sheets which are all pattern paper in there. Um, it's great for storage, but I always forget to look in there. So uh, I have this crate, which has all of my six by six pads. Mostly on the right is first edition and Dovecraft. And then on the left, I have a bunch of other brands. So I have my cheaper ones at the front and then more expensive ones at the back. I have some um, American brands, some English brands, um, some cheapo ones from works, you know, just I just get whatever I like. Um, you know, I have way too much. And then in the middle, I have a few of these little ones as well. Then on the left hand side of the shelf, I have all of my 12 by 12 paper pads. Again, I keep the cheaper ones towards the front and the more expensive ones towards the back. I don't know why I keep them like that. It just kind of made sense for me to have it in that order. So yeah, that's all of those. You've got a peek at my paper collection there. Underneath the shelf, I have some albums which are all unused and have nothing in so let's ignore that underneath the desk i have some extra swatch perfect stock that fits quite nicely under there and then i've also got this crate which has all of my um scraps and pieces like work in progress pieces i recently went through and labeled all of these which has made it really easy to find everything actually which is really helpful these are just little pouches from wilco and then i have all my scraps organized into color families at the back which is fantastic when i just need like a piece of card in a color because i can just come in here and grab it on the opposite side of the desk from where I work, I have this area, which is all of my fabric and sewing kind of supplies. So the top is punch needling, embroidery. Here is a nice shot of all of my embroidery threads. <laughs> the next one down is all yarn. So really, I don't actually knit or crochet. So I just bought all this because it was pretty, but sometimes I do make pom-poms and stuff with it. And then at the bottom, I have all my fabric. So it's mostly felt and glitter, that kind of material but there's a few other bits down there as well on the right hand side i keep all of my filming supplies so at the moment it's just my microphone in there and then underneath there i've got all of my stickers so these are all my icon stickers word stickers right at the back is all my alphabet stickers i've got a lot in there and then i always have this box which has all my little stickers in um all the loose ones so i have all kinds of different ones in here um here is a little peek inside all the stickery goodness Right at the bottom is just spare storage. I like to reuse boxes and stuff, so I always have some stuff down here. And then over in the corner, there's a little alcove. So we put some shelves in it to make use of the storage. At the top, I have got my sketchbooks, which are all unused. If you've watched some of my other videos, you will know my issue with sketchbooks. <laughs> um, all different sizes up there. And then there's some smaller ones on the right. And then I also have some coloring books up there as well. So that's a look at that corner. The next shelf down is like bits and bobs. It's just kind of stuff gets dumped here, you know. Um, I've got some nice postcards there, which are nice to see when you walk in the door. And then I've got a latch hook kit and also some canvases right at the end. I really like to um, try painting on a canvas. So maybe I will use these at some point. Who knows? Then the next shelf down, I've got my camera bag there and then loads of notebooks. <laughs> Absolutely massive pile of notebooks, most of which are completely unused. At the bottom is where I keep all of my larger filming equipment. So I've got this basket, I've got all of my light stands and tripods and extra filming equipment that all lives in there. Thank you so much for exploring my craft room with me. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you want to see more of what goes on in my craft room, what I get up to, the projects I do, the things I buy, then please hit that subscribe button. That would really help my channel grow. And also give this video a big thumbs up because YouTube will then show it to other people so they can enjoy it as well. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you back here on my channel again soon. See you later.